wanted to do a quick recording in regards to a ceremony I got to experience on the weekend on Saturday. Our lovely community gave me a grandmother honoring ceremony. And wow, you know, I was a little apprehensive about doing it last year because Typically, um, when we do this rites of passage ceremony for a grandmother or a grandfather, we do it at the age of 60. But you no, know, you don't have to do it at that time. You can do it anytime once you're past 60. It really is about the community wanting to do it for you. And also, you as the participant want to be ready to do the ceremony. And so I find it very interesting that I wasn't ready when I, you know, as soon as I turned 60, but then I was ready when I was approached and asked um, by one of our lovely sisters in our community. And oh my goodness, I, I what I want to say about that is I just didn't realize the impact it had on me. And sitting in a circle with people that you love and who are honoring you um, and just sending you lots of love. I could just so feel the love in the circle. It was truly amazing. And um, the whole process is, is quite amazing because I actually um, knew that grabbing onto this mantle after the ceremony it was going to be quite large in the sense of oh well people are going to come to you as a grandmother do you want to be seen as a grandma <laughs> like do you feel like a grandmother i feel like a grandmother i i'm already a physical grandmother but um anybody can have this ceremony they they may be just a grandmother to the community and and so that's the other really beautiful thing if you didn't have children physically um even if you had adopted children, you become a grandmother. But, you know, there's a different connotation of what grandmother is. And so it, it started transforming even the week before I actually entered into the ceremony. That, that's what I noticed. And I just, I just love this process of stepping into a rites of passage when you are now moving into a different part of your life. Um, it allows you to really grab onto that and understand there's this transition happening. And in our shamanic community, we have rites of passage ceremonies for all age. And if you're a new mom, gonna give birth and all of that there's there's ceremonies for all of that there's times in our life where change happens like it's part of the cycle right and we can choose to go into it in a very easeful way or we could resist and kind of oh, i don't know if i'm ready yeah <laughs> And part of that is just because the unknown is what's it going to look like? What's it going to feel like? Oh, am I worthy to hold that? And da, 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 right? All these stories that we create inside of ourselves. So, oh, it, it was just so loving and so supportive. And I've had the honor of doing grandmother, grandfather ceremonies being there and then also dance chiefing them and or hosting them and wow two different energetics for sure <laughs> based on if you're hosting one like dance chiefing one or, or if you're the actual person having the ceremony but i've always experienced that with ceremonies shamanic ceremonies or just any kind of ceremony really um they really give an opportunity to let you expand into a new space. Is what I could say, if I could describe it to you. It's really hard to describe. But a grandmother honoring ceremony is like, why would you want to wait till you're at a funeral? Like 
to say how they might, how much they mean to you or what they've already done in their lives that has impacted you and what you've learned from them. And I've learned that something as just being there for someone has impact. Um, and that's how I like to hold my space for people in order for them to transform and grow. Um, it, it also is very interesting of all the intentions they put into my grandmother staff. And when I hold it, it's like, whoa, all these prayers and all these kind words are sitting in this staff. The energetic is really amazing. Uh, and they decorated it. It was just so cool. It's so my staff. That's what I want to say. So my staff. Um, and rites of passage ceremonies. There, there are, like I said, different levels of ceremonies. And, and in our culture, I think we're really missing recognize that and honoring um, our elders and then also honoring when we now become a young man or a young woman or when you become a new mom. Um, and then moving through different parts of our life into the next step we don't take time to do those things and they're innately inside of us and we find different ways how we want to do our rites of passage so if we talk about the rebellious years of a teenager they're going to find ways to show that i am now a young woman or i am now a young man and for my ceremony for this ceremony I really wanted my grandchildren there. I wanted the children there, not just adults, because I want them to see uh, how being older isn't a bad thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. And we can actually heal our bodies, uh, create a healthy lifestyle so that we can age with vitality, age where we can still feel that we can have input into the world. I think it's amazing if someone's 100 years old, 110, 120, there's a lot older people who have lived longer and really your spirit, it's all about keeping that spirit healthy inside of yourself. This ceremony, yeah, it really did that. It, it, it helped my spirit feel just so much joy and happiness and gratitude. So I, my wish is that, and my prayer is, is that um, other people get to experience the same thing um, and, and be honored that way. I think it, it's just so beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that note. And um, I think we're going to talk about that, how we can help other image makers and other grandmothers and grandfathers have the same experience. Namaste.